everyone in this video we will look into deploying the pods from the images stored in the private registry ecr so here we are going to deploy the pods on a minikube cluster let us install minikube cluster i am downloading the binary and installing the minikube now let's start minikube using the command minikube start So it's not started first before starting Minikube, we should also start Docker. So let's start Docker. Go to applications and let's start Docker. Let's make sure Docker is running before we start Minikube. So here we can see that Docker engine is running. Now let's start. So we can see that Minikube is getting started. Minikube is nothing but a single node cluster which can be helpful for testing our applications. It takes a couple of minutes uh, for the Minikube to get started. You can see here Minikube version automatically selected the Docker driver, the default driver and yeah finally Minikube is started. Here you can see kubectl is now configured to use Minikube. Let us check the status. Minikube status. So yeah you can see that Minikube type control plane is running so everything is all set. Now we can uh, check the pods in our cluster. To check the pods, we'll use kubectl. kubectl is a command line utility to interact with the cluster. So kubectl get pods in all the namespaces. So we can see all the pods uh, running. Yeah. Now let us deploy some application. Let's deploy some pod. So here is the manifest file which will create a deployment object uh, and the name of the deployment is php app the label is app is php i'll correct it and the namespace uh, we are going to uh, deploy this in a namespace called php app i'm going to start two replicas and the label app is php and here i'm going to use an image which is stored in the private ecr let me show you that here is the private registry this is our image. This is the image I am going to deploy which is from the private ECR registries. Now let me correct the label. Label app is PHP and we are going to deploy this with two replicas. So can we successfully deploy this image which is in the private registry? Let's see. kubectl apply. Before this first, let's create a namespace. Let's see what are all the namespace available. See, we have some default namespaces already available. Now, let's create a namespace for our application. kubectl create namespace. And the namespace name is php app. 
now let us apply this manifest file kubectl apply minus f downloads and this is the manifest file so seems it was created let's get the deployment object kubectl get deploy yeah in the namespace php app and let's check the uh, pods as well let's check the pods see pods were created but you can see they were image pullback of error this is because we are trying to pull an image from the private registries where we were not authenticated you can also see this in detail by describing the pod kubectl describe pod the pod name php app so here you can see fail to pull the image fail to pull this particular image which is present in this ECR because no basic auth credentials so let us authenticate it let us authenticate to the aws cli by running aws configure command for this aws configure to work we should install aws cli on the system so let us install aws cli AWS CLI install AWS command line utility so so depending on the operating system mine is Mac so let's go here and command line for all the users or for the current user we can go with this installation copy this command and let us execute them Meanwhile, let me copy the second command. This also I have already executed, so we can check the version if it is successfully done. So it's prompting for password. Let's put the password. So it says it was installed. Let's check the version now, AWS version. Yeah. Okay, we have uh, this AWS installed. Now let's run AWS configure. So we need to provide the access key ID and secret key ID for authentication. Let me get this access key and secret key. Here are the access key and secret key credentials. Let me place them. access key id and then secret access key okay let uh, we have added the credentials as well now let us log into this let's go here and this is the ecr we want to pull the image from so let's run this aws ecr get login password command so login succeeded now to use to you to pull the images from ecr in the deployment object we need to create the key first let's create a secret and we'll use the same key to pull the images from ecr so let's check the secrets Okay, we don't have any secret and also we need to create the secret in this particular namespace where we need to deploy the pods. So let's create a secret in this uh, namespace and this secret is of type docker uh, registry key. Let's create the secret using the command kubectl create secret and the secret is of type docker registry 
the secret name is ecr key and providing the docker server which is our aws uh, account id and then docker username is aws docker password and the namespace so let's create the secret and we'll use the secret to pull the images it says you must specify a region so let us also specify the region using region equal to ap south 1 so it says uh, region flag unknown okay let me do it with aws configure or else we can check kubectl create secret docker registry help kubectl options for the list of global options it says we can also do this way. let me do let me configure the region here already these were configured so let's configure the region here ap south one so this should do now let's create the secret we already added this in the aws configure we don't need the add here so key is created i mean secret is created you can check that as kubectl get secrets in the same namespace where we need to deploy the pods so this is available now let's add means let's configure our deployment so that it will use the secret to pull the images from private ecr downloads deploy. so here we are pulling the image from private registry so we should use the secret so here we can say under specifications below the container image pull secrets image pull secrets and the name of the secret and the name of the secret is ecr key also we can say like when this image should be pulled i want this image should be pulled always so we can add that image pull policy using an attribute image pull policy is always now let us save this and we'll reapply this manifest file before that get pods let's check the pods in this namespace php app so they were aired out let me delete this and we'll redeploy this delete deploy and the deployment name is php app in the namespace namespace name is also same php app so now let us reapply this manifest file kubectl apply minus f downloads deploy so now let's see kubectl get deploy minus n php app and get the pods see they were now in the container creating state in few minutes they should be started they should be started running in few minutes let's wait see we can see that now image is successfully pulled if you describe this it sees it shows you that image is pulled successfully describe pod minus n the namespace so we can see here pulling this image from the repo successfully pull the image container created and started so this is how we can pull the images or we can use the images stored in the private registries to deploy on a kubernetes cluster here the most important component we need is secret we need to create a kubernetes secret to use the images to use the private images stored in the registries